हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट यूजर्स ग्रुप एंड रोल्स एंड हाउ वी कैन एसोसिएट एनी रोल्स टू अ ग्रुप और यूजर एंड व्हाट इज़ द बेस्ट वे टू डू सो सो दिस ऑल टॉपिक आई विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट लेट मी नेवे गेट टू service now instance right so if you have not watched my previous video that how we can opt for personal uh, dev instance uh, to do a practice then please go and watch the previous video i have explained that how we can opt for a pd instance and i have also given you walk through that uh, what all this header mean right so in this video basically i'll be talking about only how we can create a group all these thing so once you log into your instance in the left navigation just come over here in the filter and type a uh, group so let for, uh, first let's create the users so uh, then you just type uh, users in the left navigation fine and here somewhere you will go down and under the user administration you will find a users fine so just click on this users you will be having a list of user which is already present in service now so as of now by default as you can see here 681 users are already present so this is all a dummy data once you'll have a actual instance for your client that time you might not having this data because this will come from your uh, client active directory that you have to do the integration so that we will talk later that how we can import uh, user data from any third party tool all right so in here now uh, let's create how we can create it so we have a new button over here so we just click on new button you will be redirected on the form so this is the default form for user creation all right so here you have to provide a few details first is the user id which is mandatory just provide so let's say i'm just providing a test test user test dot user something i have given this is the user id we should not keep the space and here you have to provide your email id let's say test at the rate uh, test dot com fine so these are all the time zone which time zone this user belongs to and here you have to provide a test last name user test user which department they belongs to uh all these thing you just need to provide and what you need to do just click on the submit or being a developer the things i prefer that right click on this header over here and click on the save button so what does it mean by save and submit that i will discuss uh, in later of the video upcoming video so there is a difference so let me click on the save so uh, now this uh, user got created right so now we have uh, one user over here so similar way like how we can create uh, groups then then if you can uh, scroll down over here you can see that a group is also there over here uh, this is basically called a related list so under this we have a group so we can create a new group or we can add a existing group also so i'm not going to create it group from here uh, what i will do i will create the group from navigation itself fine then just type a uh, groups in the filter navigation and just uh, scroll down and you have to look for the user administration okay uh, so under this we have a uh, name called groups right so just click on this so you will be redirected with the list of group so these are group which is already present these are again a dummy data and then uh, our objective is to create a new group so how, how you can do just create a, click on the new button and just give your uh, group name so let's say i'm just giving a my first group right what is the group email id if you have then provide else uh, leave it blank but at least uh, fill with the 
group a name and what who is the manager you just need to provide okay this is also optional whether you want to provide or not but uh, the name at least you have to uh, fill in fine so just click on the submit okay and now what i can do i can do over here j2a so that the the recent created one will come on top right so here in the list i can see i can again click on this and then a group will open over here so two things i have created one is uh users test dot user and the second one i have created the group now uh, we have to create our roles also let's say we are defining one roles what is the use of role that i will discuss later but say first uh, you definitely for a uh, business here uh, they will ask you to create a uh, maximum time they will ask you to create a group and uh, users and associate a group to uh, these many users like that they will ask you so again here uh, for user roles what we can do so here under somewhere we can get it so under the user again this we can find it out roles fine and here we can create our own custom roles okay if you want but this is very rare like if you are creating any module and on that case you might require to create a role but this is also a very simple just uh, give your um, um role name and just click on submit button so roles also got created now the important point is now we have users now we have a group now we have a role how we can associate all three right so that they will get a, a required access in service now fine so uh, first now let again navigate to group fine so i have just opened in the uh, new tab and uh, the if you want to open a new tab just click on this and uh, in center of the your mouse then here you will come on the landing uh, list page so just open it and then the best way to associate any users to a group that over here you have to come and under the group member you have to add your group uh, users right so under this uh, group member related list here is the user so what we can do we can search our users which we have created so we have created a test user right so we got the test user and we move the right side if you want to move uh, anyone else then let's move it to uh, more we have moved it so three member we want to make it as a part of this group so now okay so uh okay let's refresh it so now you can see here test and this uh, all three users we have made a part of this group now we have made a part of this group but now they don't have any access or as of now right so how will get access on that case we have to provide a role so there are two way to provide a role to a uh, users first one just let me uh, let open uh, uh, users which we had created just now right so here again we will do a j2a so that uh, latest one will come on top and uh, if you can uh, scroll down in the users form here you can see now uh, the moment we have added uh, under this group section now this group name has start appearing because this user now a part of this group right we have added now uh, if you can see here the role is also available for the users right so what is the best way to apply a role to a user so your manager said hey these are the uh, 10 user and the um, x role you have to apply to all 10 users so how you will be doing you'll be going uh, opening again uh, one by one 10 user and you will be providing a role or you will be just creating one group and then you will be providing the answer is you will create one group and then make a member of all those 10 member and then provide a role to that group no need to provide a, a role to group member 
okay you just provide a role to group by default that role will be applied to all the group member okay so first you just need to add all 10 member over here and then you just add a role fine so let's add a role which we have created test we have created right although there is no meaning of uh, this uh, test role but i'm just uh, giving you the scenario that how we can assign a role to a, any group member right so now if you will i have not given any role to this uh, three member uh, separately right so let me open this test and if we will refresh this test user then under this role section we can see that now this test role is also associated with this user we can do it from here as well but the best way to assign a role to a group hope you got it right so if you have any any questions you can just leave a comment and you can join my telegram channel and if you have not like and subscribe my channel please do so thank you